Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew here, Andrew Allen Guitars, and we are into the new year, 2017. I've been thinking about doing something a little bit different, and I've been thinking about doing this for a while, so I decided to go ahead and do it. So the first thing we got is a laundry detergent bottle, a water jug, creamer bottle, um, let's see what else we got here. A coffee can. Now you can't see this. Maybe you can. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right here. It says what kind of plastic this is. It's HDPE number two. So basically, I can take this plastic and melt it down into whatever I want to melt it down into. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've been collecting milk jugs, um, creamer bottles, laundry detergent bottles. They're all the same kind of plastic. They're number two HDPE plastic. I cut them all up. And I got a tote full of plastic right now. So I don't know if you can see where this is going without me saying. But basically, I'm going to try to melt a bunch of plastic down into a mold. Into a square block, two inches thick. 18 inches long, 13 inches wide. Make a guitar body. Make an HDPE plastic guitar body. We'll mold it down, we'll melt it down, put it into a mold, let it dry when it dries, run it through the planer, cut out our body, sand it down the whole nine yards, and hopefully, here in a couple weeks, I'll be playing the first ever HDPE plastic recycled guitar, or guitar body anyways. So in order to melt this plastic down, I'm gonna have to have a mold to melt this into. That's what I got right here. I built this yesterday. And this is just a piece of um, MDF on the bottom. Two by four is on the top. It's open in the middle. And this thing lifts out. I'll put my plastic in there once it's melted. Take this thing, put it back down on top like this. It'll sit in there. Then I'll take clamps and put it at the four corners, maybe in the middle here. We'll see how many we need. And start clamping it down till it's flat. As it cools, it shrinks. So we're going to get this thing pretty much to the top level, or maybe a little bit more. Then as we put this lid on it, or this top on it, we'll put pressure with the clamp, start clamping it down. As it cools, it's going to shrink. So we're going to keep putting pressure on with the clamp and keep clamping it down tight until it's completely cool. Once it's cool, we'll pull this thing off, pull our block which should be anywhere from inch and three quarters to two inches hopefully that's what we're going to get anyways and then this here is um 13 and a half inches wide and i think it's 17 or 18 inches long and two inches thick so this is going to be my mold for melting my plastic into now i will put like parchment paper inside here first before i put the hot plastic in otherwise it'll stick to the wood and everything so we'll have parchment paper hole inside and on the bottom of this thing also so we got a mold we've got a bunch of plastic and i think we're ready to start melting down some plastic okay guys so like i was saying this should be a pretty interesting project i got a bunch of plastic i'm not going to melt it down in this one i'm going to melt it down in part two so stay tuned for part two i'll be melting the plastic down getting it into the mold getting it cold and hopefully getting us block out that's going to do it for part one of making a HDPE plastic recycled guitar body. That's a mouthful. Anyways, this should be pretty interesting. Stay tuned for part two. Should be coming up here in a couple days. Hopefully, like I said before, we can get this, this thing melted down, get ourselves a block out, and then we can go from there. Don't forget to check out my website, andrewallenguitars.com. I think um, I got a sale going on over there. Also, Got some other stuff, so go check that out over there. Also, check out my Facebook page, Andrew Allen Guitars, Facebook.com. And follow me on Twitter. I got a Twitter. Uh, I think it's called Andrew's Guitars. I'll put a link in the description to the Twitter and to the Facebook and to the um, website. It's all down there in the description box. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.